morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, again, from my beautiful garden, today talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Yes, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. One chart is like truly amazing. You really need to see the chart. Of course, a trading tip. Yes, some travel advice. Also talking about the news. Yes, how much volume did those spot ETS bring on day one? I'm going to exactly tell you this one. And of course, ending with the live advice, guys, on this beautiful Friday here in Phuket, Thailand. Let's quickly jump into the first chart to show you what the charts have to say. 48K already reached. 49k also already reached when 50k or are we gonna drop back all the way down below 40k let's see what the charts have to say bam the first chart for today guys of course this beautiful four hour chart look that massive wick over there that's a massive wick guys we took it all the way to 49,048 us dollar that's the beautiful level for bitcoin guys and now of course we drop back to 46k but we even drop back to be very honest in this candle to a low of 45,600. this is the volatility i've been talking about i told you guys it will be a volatile time for bitcoin when those spot etfs will be approved and that is exactly what we see at the moment because the weak hands are selling to the strong hands i will talk about this later in the video again because i'm getting really sick of all you weak pussies selling into the strong hands guys that's really the most retarded thing i've ever seen before in my life really not the moment to sell your bitcoins but let me talk about that a little bit later guys i have three more amazing charts let's quickly jump into these beautiful charts to show you what is happening exactly to bitcoin at the moment this is the first one this is showing you exactly what happened there was a shitload of liquidations around that 49k level you can see to the left that yellow and the reddish over there these were all the shorts that would be liquidated when we hit those levels and all of those shorts were liquidated and that is why of course the price at that moment also drops back to these levels of 46k because a lot of people were shorting bitcoin knowing that the spot etf would go live and knowing that we will have a halving upcoming and still people were shorting bitcoin now there is a shitload of longs as well and they all will be liquidated at 42 to 44k levels you can see that at the bottom of the chart where the red bar is with a yellow around it that's around 42 to 44k levels that is where a lot of longs will be liquidated if the price drops there so yes there is definitely a possibility that we will drop to that 44k level again so if i were you i would be putting buy orders at those levels because if we would wake there i think it will be a flash crash down to those levels and then pump up again because a lot of liquidity is coming into the market on day two of that spot edf guys interesting chart but please buy bitcoin at those dips because we can also even see now that blackrock on their website is promoting bitcoin guys the promotions are just getting started they are telling their customers hey look since 2013 bitcoin has been the best performing asset out there so the last 11 years bitcoin was the best performing asset in 2013 it was the best performing asset in 2014 oh the spx was a little bit better but in 2015 bitcoin was better 2016 bitcoin was better 2017 bitcoin was better 2019 bitcoin was better 2020 21 23 all of those years bitcoin outperformed all the other assets and yes you can guess already 2014 it wasn't because it was the bear market 2018 it wasn't because it was the bear market and 2022 it also wasn't because it was the bear market the lesson that you need to learn from this is when the bear market starts in 2026 four years after 2022 just see it again 2014 plus four is 2018 2018 plus four is 2022 2022 plus four is 2026 that will be the bear market year you need to be out of the market take your profits at the top of the bull market and take that bear market year to travel the world with your family of those profits that's how you should do it guys this chart is showing you what happened to gold after the spot etf was approved for gold guys now i am here to tell you that this is completely different because people are comparing the bitcoin move to the gold move and it cannot be the same move the bitcoin move is going to be way bigger it's going to be way bigger 
and now you're like, why, why did he? It's like the spot ETF is a spot ETF. Yes, a spot ETF is a spot ETF. But when the gold spot ETF was approved, the gold miners start to dig up a shitload more of gold because they want to take profits. So when that spot ETF for gold was approved, more and more gold was being mined all over the world because those people saw that the gold price was going up and so they wanted to make profits. But that means when more gold comes to the market, the price increase is not as massively as if there is no new gold coming to the market. Because if there is less supply and a bigger demand, that will make the price go up. And that is exactly the case in Bitcoin. The spot ETFs are approved. It is impossible now for the miners to say, we are going to mine more Bitcoins every day. That is just not possible. The miners will only be able, at the moment, an average to mine 900 Bitcoins collectively per day. And from April 2024, they will only be able to mine 450 Bitcoins collectively per day. There is a decrease that is exactly the opposite of what happened in gold. When the spot ETF in gold was approved, more and more and more gold came to the market. Now the spot ETF of Bitcoin is approved and less and less and less Bitcoin will come to the market, which will lead to a way bigger pump of the price than we saw before with gold, as gold was only like a 450% pump. I believe the pump in Bitcoin will be way bigger, guys. Here on this chart, you can see how much volume went in on day one. On day one, in total, 4.5 billion uh, US dollar went into Bitcoin because of the spot ETF. We are at a 990 billion market cap because of the spot ETF. I think even now we reach a 1 trillion dollar market cap. So that's a beautiful growth uh, in the Bitcoin market cap for the first day of the spot uh, approval, spot ETF approval. Let's see how much liquidity will flow into Bitcoin uh, because of the spot ETF on day two of that approval, guys. Let's see at the end of the day where we will be. Hopefully you're not selling to those strong hands because then you belong to the weak hands. And then we have one more chart to show you uh, what is going to happen to the altcoin market cap. Look, we can see on the bottom there that that bullish cross for the MACD happened. And that is when Bitcoin broke out above that pinkish area. Now, the altcoins, exactly the same is happening now because the altcoins are just copying the move of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is king. Bitcoin is leading. And that's what we see on this chart. The altcoins start to break out now, but still have a lot of upward potential if you look to the left part of the chart because Bitcoin already went higher and higher and higher. These altcoins still need to go higher and higher and higher because of that bullish cross that we saw on the bottom there on the MACD guys. Very interesting chart. So if you are positions in alts at the moment, I would keep that position because we already dropped like 20%, 30% last week. Ethereum is going sky high at the moment, 2600 US dollar. I think the highest price uh, of the last two years or something. So yes, these alts will come up and pick up the pace that Bitcoin already set over there, guys. So yeah, do not sell your alts as well. I would just accumulate more of alts and more of Bitcoins. I would be selling all my materialistic stuff that's on the addict or that is in your basement or that is in your garage that you haven't seen for the last two years or three years. If you don't use that stuff, sell it. Sell it and convert it into Bitcoin or altcoins. And yes, at the end, uh, that profit that you will be taking there will allow you to buy back all that shit that you are not using today. Hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, of course, always the same message. You should be accumulating Bitcoin every day. And why? Because the charts show you why. We are going to go into a massive bull run. This is just getting started. The halving is in April 2024. So in April, so that's in less than 100 days, 50% of the amount of Bitcoins that are now coming to the market daily will come to the market. This means as long as demand keeps growing and growing and growing, for example, because of the demand of the spot ETFs, and the supply keeps decreasing, 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 you all know what's going to happen to the price. It's going to go up. Every and each bull run after the halving, a massive explosive to the upside. I really believe above 100K this time. So this is still a very beautiful moment to get in. If we dip, like we are doing now, 49K, 
bam, back to 46K, maybe even 45K, buy that dip. That is why we always say in Bitcoin, buy the dip. Every dip you can buy, you should be buying because we will go sky high after, guys. Let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys. Yes, there is only so much trading tips to give, and I've been giving so many trading tips in daily videos. I'm running out of trading tips, so I always so I want to share with you these tokens that I invest in and why I invest in as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you like, and I also now and then uh, share with you guys which tokens I invest in. I invested already like two, three weeks ago. I told you at that moment in a project called Garbage. Garbage was a really fun meme project, but they now are going to go live with their meme generation competition the Oscars the garbage Oscars guys and yes you can win up to 25,000 US dollar with these Oscars and it's very simple to join you just need $10 worth of uh, garbage tokens $10 worth of wrecked token as the competition these Oscars are being created by garbage and wrecked together so if you have $10 of both of those tokens in your wallet you go to the website you verify your wallet and then it gives you access to start generating memes with the meme generator you go to puregarbage.io that is where you start to choose a category then you generate your meme and then you say please send this one to the Oscars you can do this as often as you want 10 times 20 times but they need to be nice memes if you're gonna bomb it with like stupid memes okay they are gonna ban your wallet and you can't join the Oscars anymore but if you do high quality memes and you send them to the Oscars you will be able to win five thousand dollar each five people will win so twenty five thousand dollar in total and, and the winner will be announced in the 12th I think of February in 2024 of course so you have a month long of meme generations and just imagine what's gonna happen everyone that wants to join this needs to own wrecked and needs to own garbage so a lot of people are gonna buy garbage and then imagine what's gonna happen all those people will start to generate memes and those memes will be shared on Twitter and all over socials and they will get a lot of attention to those both token garbage and wreck so if I were you I would be investing a little bit now in garbage and a little bit now in get wrecked because the competition is only going live today so there will be a demand for these tokens guys so very simple tokenomics in my honest opinion and that is my trading tip for today so there's no trading tip about the charts but the trading tip is buy some garbage buy some wrecked and join the beautiful meme oscars because you can win up to five thousand dollars with creating fun amazing project that's why i already invested in it like a couple of weeks ago you can still invest at very beautiful prices as the chart is beautifully bottoming out good timing guys let's jump into the next part The travel tip for today, guys, is that if you are in a foreign country and you need to go to an ATM, please use ATMs that are attached to a bank building. Why? Because it often happened that when you use your card in an ATM, that it's like stuck or that something goes wrong. If there is a single ATM somewhere on the streets, you need to like start to call this help desk in a foreign language, which will be probably very difficult. You need to wait there, it will take a lot of time. If you use an ATM that's connected to a bank building, you can just walk in, tell them what the issue is, and they will be able to help you directly. And yes, I know guys that because of Bitcoin, there is less and less bank buildings. Yes, that's the future. We will all go bankless and the banks will all go bank buildingless, something like that. But there won't be many bank buildings left in the end. And that's terrible. So the surface, of course, is dropping of these ATM machines. And that is exactly the reason why you should start to step into Bitcoin. We don't need those bank buildings things anymore we don't need those ATMs anymore you should start to adopt Bitcoin Bitcoin as your core currency Bitcoin as a unit of account Bitcoin to spend it all over the world online offline in any kind of way guys and then we can skip the lines at the bank ATMs then we can skip all the issues and the outings at the bank ATMs you can just start to spend Bitcoin very easily just by sending some sets tip 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 Tip. So uh, the travel tip for the day is, yes, if you use those traditional bank ATMs, please use those that are attached to a building because else you might have a shitload of problems when something goes wrong. If you don't want to have the risk of having a shitload of problems when something goes wrong, then please start to use Bitcoin integrate Bitcoin into your daily lives and just request everywhere you pay. Hey, I want to pay with Bitcoin. 
That was a travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is answering a question of one of the followers and the question was, Didi, how did you deal with the emotion in the first year after going all in? Because it's a huge roller coaster. How did you deal with these emotions? So to be very clear, we didn't really deal with any emotions. We really trusted Bitcoin. We really believed that Bitcoin would only go higher and increase our capital. What we did from the beginning is we did zoom out in Bitcoin and we started to zoom in at life. We started to travel. We went on a beautiful world trip with the kids. We started in Thailand together with a lot of families traveling all over the world. We did 42 countries. And during those travels, I didn't really focus on Bitcoin. I was just very convinced that it was all safe and not that volatile. And that was the beginning of 2017, you know, when we were at nine on a dollar, we went to 1K, 2K, 3K, 5K, and then we went all the way to 20K. And of course, at that 20K level, to be very honest, around 18K, yes, we took some profits. We exchanged a little bit of these Bitcoins, maybe 10% or 15% at that moment of the capital into um, stable coins, into USDT. So we were like, okay, that's enough to survive the next two years of the bear market. And then we just started to live a very minimalistic lifestyle during that bear market. We spent most of the time in Asia where we spend around 30,000 US dollars per year. And then the bull market will start again and then we will see what happens. And it exactly went like that. We just spent those two years in cheap countries, in cheap ways, traveling with camper vans, traveling with minivans, sleeping in tents, sleeping in these backpacker places, sleeping in these small villas on the beach which was the most beautiful part of our trip because the kids still remember all those adventures that we did during the time. They all saw it as an adventure. So there was no financial stress at that moment because we just really believed, hey, this could even go to 50K in the future. When we came back after six months of traveling, the first time in the Netherlands, that is when the shit show started with television and everything. They asked me on a live television show, hey, where is Bitcoin going? And that was somewhere in 2018. You know, that was just before that the bear market started. And then I told them on television, yeah, we could drop, but in the next bull market, we will easily reach 50K. They all started laughing on television. And I was like, why are they laughing? Why don't they see the same that I'm seeing? Why don't they see the same thing that I see when it comes to supply and demand, to 21 million Bitcoins, to more demand, to more liquidity uh, pouring into this industry? What is it that they don't see that I see? And they started laughing and laughing and laughing. No, 50K, that's impossible. We're going to crash back to, to 1K, to zero. It's just multi-level marketing. It's just nothing. And of course, two years later, I was right. It was there at 50K. And then they started calling him. Can you come on television again? Can you do the newspapers again? And that is how that whole Bitcoin family story evolved. Because what we said is also what happened and we didn't give a fuck about the value because we just traveled a minimalistic lifestyle. We still are kind of minimalist. We still don't own houses. Yes, we own two motorbikes in Thailand, but when we will leave, we will sell those motorbikes. And yes, we own the car in Portugal, but when we left, we sold the car. So we just use all that stuff short term. But every time when we know, hey, Bitcoin is going to go in the bull market, like now, we will put all our capital in that asset. Everything went all in between 16K and 22K, somewhere in that area, all in again. And no ownership of nothing. And then, bam, Bitcoin flew again to 49K yesterday. So that's almost tripling our capital already now in the last six months, guys. That's how we've been playing that game again and again and again. And that's also how we played the game the first cycle. So we had no doubt. And the second important mindset that we had was we didn't care. We wanted to change our lives. We wanted to show our children that it's possible to break out that hamster wheel, to go and travel the world and to experience life real time. Not in books, not in schools, not being brainwashed, just living life to the fullest. That was the main reason for us to take all these steps. We wanted to break free of that system that was making us sicker every day. We had money, we had a beautiful life, we had a big house, we had a holiday house, we had cars, motorbikes, we had everything. But we got sick of owning so much shit, of owning and stressing about everything that you just want. More greed and more houses, bigger houses, bigger this, bigger car. Every time that same cycle, more working, every day making 
10 hours a day just to make more money, to buy, buy bigger stuff. We got sick of that system and we wanted to change life. And the way to change life was to tell the system, fuck you, we are gonna travel the world with our kids and we are gonna see what happens. We are not gonna plan, we are just gonna do it and see what happens. And we can't take our bank account or our gold or all the cars or the houses with us. So we will just sell it all into this new revolution, peaceful revolution, Bitcoin, and we will see what happens. That's how it all started. So we didn't have any stress as we lived very cheap, minimalistic in Asia. The money was not disappearing very quickly because of that. And that gave us a peace of mind during the first year of travels. So that's the answer to the question. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave another question or a comment down below. The news for today, guys, is of course about the Bitcoin Spot ETF. It was approved. It started trading yesterday. In total, the Spot ETF volume yesterday on day one was 4.5 billion. The market cap of Bitcoin was already 990 billion US dollar. So now with all the spot ETFs, we broke the market cap of 1 trillion US dollar again with Bitcoin. And that's just day one of the spot ETF. If it will continue like this, like every day, a couple of billions flowing into Bitcoin, then please understand that the Bitcoin price is only going up. I don't understand all of you out there that are now selling Bitcoins before the halving, while the spot ETF is approved at 49K levels. This is what we call the weak hands are selling to the strong hands. And those strong hands will be those institutional investors like BlackRock, Grayscale, all of these. They will be buying all your Bitcoins if you keep selling them to them. Why the fuck are you selling at 49K? Are you stupid? Are you retarded? We are just getting started, guys. The halving has not happened yet. It's going to happen in April. All these institutional investors are just getting started with putting liquidity into Bitcoin. 4.5 billion on day one. And you're selling? Your fucking weak hands are selling to these companies. That is why I told you yesterday in yesterday's video, that is why BlackRock will slowly take over Bitcoin. Because your weak hands are selling it to them at these levels. While we all keep repeating all these influence in the industry that are already in this industry a very long time, we keep repeating this time we could go above 100K and you're selling at 50K. That's the most retarded thing I have ever seen in history. I really, I really, really, really can't understand why people would be selling knowing the halving is upcoming, knowing a shitload of liquidity is flowing into Bitcoin. I really can't. Yes, if you're a short-term trader, I understand. You're hunting for the liquidation levels. But still, a drop from 49K to even 45K because of weak hand selling is too much for me, guys. I really don't understand why people are shorting Bitcoin at the moment. It's just unbelievable to me, guys. But that's my honest opinion. A normal dude being in Bitcoin already since 2013, so uh, going into my 11th year, knowing the cycles, knowing what is going to happen, I really can't understand if you're selling at the moment. We are definitely not the same. This is the most stupid moment to be selling your Bitcoins. You should be selling your cars, your house and everything else and going into Bitcoin now because you understand that a shitload of liquidity is coming and that the halving is going to happen and that we are going to pump with this price above 100k. Please. Please be aware of this. And I just really don't want you to miss out on this amazing run that we are going to see. This is going to pump your bags up really sky high. And your dumping at these levels is really retarded. I know I'm not allowed to say retarded, but it is really retarded. Let's jump into the next part. And the next part, guys, is of course a quote. This is a quote from a movie, one of my favorite movies, Forrest Gump. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you will get. And that's exactly what life is. You never know what life will throw at you. 
it can change every day. Like I said yesterday, every day is a new day. That's the same like that box of chocolate. You grab one, you don't know if there is something in it, liquid or cream, whatever it is, it is always a surprise. And that is how life should be. It should be a surprise every day. It shouldn't be running a hamster wheel every day, the same routine. Waking up at 6, making breakfast for the kids at 7, bring them to school at 8, go to your job at 9, uh, have a lunch at 12, come home at 5, making dinner for the kids, go to do some sports, go to watch Netflix, go to bed, waking up at 6, making breakfast for the kids, that whole cycle. You must be getting fucking crazy of that. And that is because every day should be a new beautiful day with a surprise. It shouldn't be this robotic life where you are just doing what your boss is telling you to do every day, like in a cycle, in a cycle, in a cycle. And why? Because you need to make an income so you can pay tax to the government so they can suppress you a little bit more. That is not what life is supposed to be, guys. It's very simple. Every day should be a very beautiful, unique day that is full of surprises and the only way to achieve that is to start to follow your gut start to follow your dreams start to follow what you really want from this life what is it that you want do you really want to keep running that hamster wheel or do you really want to break out of that hamster wheel and start to live life to the fullest in another way and believe me Living the lifestyle that we are living, it's 10 times cheaper than the lifestyle that you're living when you're stuck in the system and all the costs that you're creating because of all the greed and the materialistic uh, need that you have at those moments. That's an expensive lifestyle. Maybe you're spending even five to six K a month for just living in the Netherlands, not having any adventure looking to get some extra cash to maybe go on holiday this summer. That is not how it is supposed to be. If you have your capital working for you, because you sell your house and take all your assets and invest them wisely in Bitcoin or gold or any other thing that you trust, you can start to really live life to the fullest while that capital is working for you. That's the simple solution. So that's my life lessons for today. Life is like a box of chocolates and you will never know what you get. The moment you step out of that fucking hamster wheel. The moment you grab life by the balls, the moment you really start to live life the way you want it, not the way they all want you to live. You should be living life the way you want to live. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it two thumbs ups or three thumbs ups or a million thumbs ups. Please leave a comment, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know down below what you think about all the charts and all the news and the spot EDF and everything else. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday. Yes, this weekend I will do a live again in English on Saturday and a Dutch one on Sunday. I promise this time I won't skip it. It will be early time, so around 10 o'clock, probably in the Netherlands and the rest of Europe, but I will do lives tomorrow and the day after, guys. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again.